Oh yeah. So here is my deodorant. Oh. Fuck. Hello. I'm here to tell you that getting a shower in a bathroom is actually much easier than you think it is. I stay clean in many different ways. Other than the one time when my friend Amanda washed my hair in her sink in her van, I have a few hair washing options. I can shower at a friend's house. I can shower at a gym. I can shower at a recreation center. Pretty much every city has one. I actually shower fairly frequently by just dipping myself in a creek. Soap. I actually have a jar and I buy soap from Whole Foods or other health food stores so that I can just get the pure soap bar. I don't have to get like packaging and stuff. Since my hair is so curly, I actually don't use shampoo ever. And if you have curly hair, you should stop using shampoo because you don't need it and it makes your hair frizzy. So I basically just condition my hair. So that cuts down my hair product needs. It cuts it in half. I do have a sink in my van, so I brush my teeth in the van, wash my face in the van. I use this lotion from Trader Joe's that has sunscreen in it. It's got SPF 15. So I just broke my naturally fresh deodorant crystal. It normally has its own little container and then I like pulled it out of its container and threw it on the ground on accident. So now it lives here. I love this stuff actually. I don't like scented things. I don't like scented anything. This stuff is rad because it's literally just, I think it's just salt. I've put it on at like six in the morning and then gone climbing for 10 hours and then not showered, gone out for a party and like I smell myself that evening and I don't smell like anything. Like it's not like you smell like flowers or whatever. You just smell like nothing. So I don't know what that's about. 100% recommend it. So I have not yet shaved my armpits in the van. I imagine that I could, I just haven't needed to. Shaving my armpits, um, I use a safety razor, less plastic, get a safety razor. I am a huge fan of using less plastic. This is completely metal. All I have to do is buy the razor blades. This is like what they come in. I'm not gonna pull one out because I would need both hands for that. And I don't actually shave my legs. I use an epilator. So it's this little thing where you turn it on and it has a spinny part and it pinches the hairs out as it turns on. Ta-da! And my leg hair gets fairly long. I don't know if you can see it. Uh, I do it pretty frequently, but sometimes I'll miss a couple weeks. This is actually like, I think, almost a month of um, hair growth. Uh, and so then I just do this. And I just run that uh, off my batteries and it takes about 40 minutes and it pulls all the hair out. Way easier than shaving because I only have to do it once every two weeks or so. Yes, it does hurt, like a lot. Baby wipes. I use them all the time. That's kind of like when you wake up in the morning, baby wipes your pits, put your deodorant on, baby wipe after you go to the bathroom. It's really just a nice way to stay clean. If you can't get to a shower, it's really effective. And that's it. That's how I stay reasonably clean in the van. As always, if you have any questions, please let me know. You can find photos of me in this van playing the ukulele, rock climbing, and sometimes working at Instagram at One Chick Travels. Uh, you can watch these videos without ads and get updates on blog posts at facebook.com slash One Chick Travels. Uh, you can buy every single thing that's in this van to build out your own van at onechicktravels.com. And you can follow me on Twitter at Kaya Says. I've links to everything in this video in the description and I will see you next time.